Hi guys, Allison here. Happy Fuse Glass Friday. So this week's project, um, I'm going to be doing some more experimenting with uh, three-dimensional work, like I did last week with my Hasta. Um, this week I thought I would try to make a little greenhouse out of glass with some plants in it. Um, I love making tiny things and I like making tiny plants, so I'm going to try to make some tiny 3D plants in my little 3D glass greenhouse. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, what I have here pre-cut, uh, I actually uh, built my templates on the computer in Adobe, Adobe Illustrator and then printed them out. I made myself a little paper version of what I was thinking of just so that I knew that all the pieces would fit together three-dimensionally the way that I thought that they would. And that worked out pretty well. So I cut the pieces out of clear glass already. So I have these two pieces that are going to end up being the um, front and back of the greenhouse. And then I have some squares for the bottom and the two sides. And then these little pieces here are going to end up being the roof of the greenhouse, if that makes sense for how that's going to fit together. Um, Hopefully this works how I'm intending. I So I, I do think that I'll be putting like designs inside the greenhouse. So I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see that through the fired glass. So I'm not sure if I will end up using, you know, both of these for the front and the back side. I might leave the front open, uh, depending. I do have a piece of clear here that's pre-fired so I mean I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera well let me zoom in a little bit it has some texture to it just from like the kiln paper um but you can still see the lines here so I think I'm just gonna have to wait and see let me see if I have like this little plant here can still see it I don't know well, in person it does look a little bit blurry. I'll have to see how it turns out. So undecided on that part. Um, but basically, first what I'll be doing uh, is adding some detail to the greenhouse walls using some of my trusty Mako Stroke & Coat underglaze. Um, I thought this would be the easiest way to get sort of detail lines that would be I guess uh, the soldering between glass panels on a real glass greenhouse if that makes sense. Um, so I'm just going to add some lines here. I'm not going to do the bottom because I don't think that needs to have detail. This color is called birthday suit.
Alright, um, I think that's okay. I'm not sure why the paint was reacting like this. Um, I haven't quite had this issue before with this. I'm gonna do some touch-ups here. So <clears throat> the sides and the front and then the roof, those are all done. I'm gonna leave those and wait to be fired. So this is the back of the greenhouse and I'm actually going to be fusing um, plants onto this part so I do have to wait a couple minutes for this paint to dry I think I'm going to end up flipping this over so that the paint's on the back side um, but regardless I still have to wait for the paint to dry so I'll be back in a couple minutes all right I'm back this paint has dried um, I think I'm just going to go in with this as like a ceramic tool. I'm just going to try to clean up the edges of the lines a little bit, maybe make them a little bit thinner just by scraping this off. So that's an improvement. So now I think I'm going to add the flowers. So like I said, I'm going to work on the back side of this uh, to add some little plants. Don't really have a plan for this <laughs> other than I've made lots of plants in the past. <laughs>
So I think that's where I'm going to leave it. That looks so cute. I almost wish like, not wish, I almost think I could just do like this as an ornament. I think that's really cute. Um, but I am going to follow through on trying to make a 3D greenhouse. So, okay, so that's done. I think I'm also going to try to make a couple like freestanding little plants. These are going to have to be tiny. We'll see. We'll see how I can, if they work out. Oh, this is not working. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. So, <clears throat> for the freestanding ones, I have to get some kiln paper. Okay. So, thinking how I should do these. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it there. These are so cute, they're so tiny. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire these on a tack fuse and I will be back tomorrow and show you guys my attempt to assemble this. <laughs> I'll see how that goes. See you then. Alrighty, so welcome back. It's the next day. I have these absolutely adorable fired pieces. Let me give you a close up here. Look how cute that is. I'm definitely going to make more of these as just like an ornament. I think that's so cute. I love how that turned out. Um, and then I have my little <laughs> freestanding teeny tiny itty bitty little plants here. These are also very cute. They bring me a ton of joy. Love those. Um, so we're going to work on assembly here. Um, Remember I was debating whether or not I wanted to put the front on. I think I'm still sort of debating that. I'm trying to show you what that would look like. Oh, still undecided. Okay, I'm just gonna start building and see how it goes. So my plan of attack here is um, I'd like to use the silicone because I think that this is like the strongest holding uh, glue, but it doesn't dry fast enough for my purposes here. So I'm actually gonna start with 
this Loctite glass glue first and sort of use this just to hold the piece in place and then go back in with the silicone to hold it um, for a stronger hold. So this is the bottom piece. There are a lot of things that I didn't account for when I made, you know, the paper template just to make sure that this was going to fit because of course the paper worked. You know, you don't have to put the paper on top like I have to do here. So I'm wondering if that's going to cause me to run into issues, but this is an experiment, so we're just going to see. So this Loctite glue you're supposed to hold in place for 30 seconds, I think. So I haven't been counting. I'm just going to hold it until it stops kind of wiggling. Oh. Should have been counting. This doesn't seem to be working at all. Hmm, that's disappointing. I wonder why that isn't. Maybe I should have done some sanding first. Okay, let me do that. I'm gonna wipe off the glue. Start again. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this um, 70 grit filing pad. Maybe this just will give that glue a little bit to hold on to. Ta-da! Okay, now I'm gonna try to not bump that um, as I work on the walls here. So I'm trying to see which side. So the paint that I used has like the rough texture. And on this one, I put the rough texture on the outside. So I guess I should probably make them consistent, but I kind of want to, I'm going to do it the other way. Yep. Yeah. So much for consistency. I'm gonna add these little guys in first because I think if I do the walls first and then I'm trying to glue these little guys in, that's gonna drive me absolutely crazy. <laughs>
So I think my plan of attack is I think I'm going to glue these first. Although I think I'm not going to get the angle right if I do it that way. Uh, right, maybe I'll just have to do this one at a time. I should have probably sanded this top first, but now I don't really want to do that because of how fragile it's going to be. Uh, what a mess. Okay, let me dry this off. This type of project requires <clears throat> much more <laughs> planning and foresight than I'm used to when I make projects. stuck. All right. So that was challenging, but seems to have worked enough <laughs> for what I needed it to do. Um, I'm very scared to pick it up and show you. I will try. So there we have it. Um, I'm just gonna leave it, let it, let that glue really dry for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so before I come back in and go in with the um, silicone to fill that in. So I will be back in a couple minutes. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna go in with this, what is this, Supreme Silicone 100% waterproof. And I'm just going to, oh, that's a really big gap. Yeah, I think maybe I should have made the roof pieces longer and then they could have just like covered it here. Oof. Well, this is why we're experimenting. All right, so I think I'm done with that. Again, I'm just gonna uh, turn off the camera and let this dry and then I'll pick it up and um, show you the final results in a couple minutes. Be right back. All right, guys, so I think that's pretty dry or dry enough at least for me to pick this up. So I'm gonna zoom in here. 
and show you the little final product. That's too far zoomed in. So I think it turned out really cute. Um, let me just give you a little 360 here. There's definitely some things that I would have done differently now that I've, you know, attempted this. I think the roof could have been done better. I'm sure um, I could have done the measurements differently. Like if you notice these front pieces are, you know, over the floor. But overall, I think it's a really cute idea. I really like the uh, little plants that are standing up. I think the overall effect is, is quite charming. Um, as you can see, I did not go ahead and put the front on. I think you just lose too much of the detail that way. Um, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go find somewhere else in my house that I can put this up on a little shelf and then sort of uh, show you this how it would be displayed because obviously, you know, I'm not holding it like this. I would have it up on a shelf. So I'm going to go find a good spot to film that. Okay, so here is my little glass greenhouse on my bookshelf. Look how cute that looks. Yeah, really pleased how that turned out. Um, you know, I don't think I would sell something like this at a craft show, like until I can perfect the technique and get it, you know, without some of those mistakes. But overall, I think, you know, for a first attempt, pretty pleased with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do put out a new video every Friday. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.